Try for the same result with our next attack. What say we get some rest? I'm not sure I could face a trek with my belly so full. It isn't much of an adventure if all we do is make camp. It is enough to make camp only when the need arises. If I might be so bold as to speak my mind, different masters favor different pawns. One whom I served preferred to have bistrons for allies. Each to their own. Your pack grows over full. Simply over here. It appears to be destroyed. No matter. It is not the only path we may follow. I will protect you. I grant you glory.
Let me get that. was a long one, but here we are. Here at last. Now to locate that Chimera. I do hope Sir Yarl will be alright. Let us safeguard him well, lest he meet an early end. That's just what I was thinking. There are one or two cases of interest nearby. I could tell you more about them in the night, but it's always to You slay the beast prematurely a second time. Still, you have my thanks for all you've done on my behalf up to this point. No ill feelings, eh? Our task is done. But at what cost? It was a lesson hard learned, but a lesson all the same. I knew it to be so. materials are more coveted than this. It makes all our efforts worthwhile. We shall have to think long and hard about what to do with it. Take this. Tis something I found. I wanted you to have it.
And here we are, in the blink of an eye. Uh, shall we take stock of our surroundings? Have you business with the guild, sir? I should be glad to assist. Do come again! You think they'd learn? How not to creep up on me? Look as long as you please. My grey matter requires a little stimulation. Have you business with the guild, sir? I should be... Glad to assist you. Always a pleasure. Welcome. As a matter of fact, the pain I experienced at the coronation was beyond imagining. We must needs uncover this secret power that allows for the command of pools. Welcome to Bjorn's art and quality is what you need if you want to sub. Five. So many thanks. I appreciate the business. Not buying? That's just as well. Come take a look. Be glad you did. Always a pleasure.
It's a worse. <laughs> Where are the wolves? We have no means of exploiting our enemy's weakness. Will it be not to twist your arm, but this is a rare. Well, you needn't decide this very moment. Let my magics grant you an elemental boon. Have no fear, Master. I'll fare all right without you for a little while. Tis not our place to hurry the Arisen. I hear the coronation. Of course, the matter of attendance is always a contentious one, particularly... I do not understand why the people should fear the coming of the dragon.
Glad I am to see you well. I've been wondering how you were getting on. Have you learned aught of the intent behind that letter? No progress as yet, then. Well, should you uncover anything, pray do share it with me. Some skills can only be owned on the battlefield. Doctor, why is my, my head will grow Let them talk. You would gather materials here, Master. 
Can we really afford to carry more? What I can do for you? Greetings. You, you need only make a worthy offering in exchange. Thank you, sir. Greetings. You need only make a worthy offering. I have seen your path. May these words guide you true. You've my gratitude. Tis lovely to see you. one or two places of interest nearby. I could tell you more about them if you like, Master. Ah, oh, I'll take that. We might find a use for it. I lack information pertinent to this task. Consider hiring a pawn better apprised of such matters. Danger might lurk anywhere, wear every shadow, and mind the ceiling. Be sure to keep your wits about you. What is it? Have you brought me something to sate my unquenchable thirst for knowledge? A book, a chance. No, oh, a letter, is it? Let's see here. But know that tonight, the moon shall again be shrouded in a veil of gossamer clouds, awaiting the return of the sun's warming glow. Well, well. I'd not put Deeds of the capacity for such refinement. Tis a love letter of a sort. One that draws on ancient symbolism to convey its message. The moon represents a woman, the sun, a man. Put simply, what this letter means to communicate is, I miss you. Ha! <laughs> A surprisingly saccharine sentiment coming from the Queen Regent. Would you not agree? I know not who this Phasus is, though it is safe to say that Disa is rather invested in him. What concerns me is this God's way mentioned in the first line. If we can take this letter at its word, and twas indeed granted to the Queen Regent, 
We can surmise that it must be something tangible. An object. As to what manner of object, however, I can only begin to guess. And I'm not one for pointless conjecture. I just... This is for you, Master. I thought it might come in useful. We've made it, then. What's our first order of business arisen? Can't put a price on quality. Don't bring trouble to my... If ever you stumble across some interesting materials, don't be stingy. Bring him here and I'll try my hand. Well met, Sir Arisen. Let us dispense with pleasantries and cut to the heart of the matter. Some days ago, a fiend attacked Empress Nadinia during her supplications. Her Majesty was unharmed, but the would-be assassin fled, gifting me a wounded arm in the process. He may seek to strike again, yet I fear I am not fit to guard the Empress as I am. And so I turn to you, Sir Arisen. Will you catch this villain in my stead? My deepest thanks. 
Her Majesty will next begin her supplications in Flamebearer Palace. I would use this opportunity to lure her assassin from the shadows. Empress Nadinia's life is in your hands, Sir Arisen. I trust you understand the gravity of this task. If you must go off on your own, there's naught to be done. I only hope you'll return sooner rather than later. I suppose all we can do is wait. What was the missive that just arrived? Oh, you know. The usual. From Vermont, bound straight for the archives. Not to be opened. Another one? What is the director up to? Well, never mind that. Did we get any other deliveries today, perchance? Surely you're not expecting another one of your love letters. Why, just the other day, you were warned not to use this address for personal correspondences. You really mustn't be so imprudent. Need I remind you? If word of our activities here was to get out, we could be shut down. Yes, yes, I'm well aware of that, thank you. Now come, enough gossiping. We've work to be getting on with. Why is Vermont funding our research? What do they have to gain from it? I don't know. Truth be told, I've never asked. But I heard a rumor that tis all part of a plot to put the prince, though I suppose he's the regent kin over there, on the throne. What? Where did he hear that rubbish? How's what we're doing here bear any relation to a scheme like that? Tis only what I heard, but you're quite right. It doesn't make much sense. I suppose tis a rumor best ignored after... I do wonder what the director's plotting, but... <sighs> Frankly, as long as Batal is left out of it, I don't rightly care what he gets up to. This is quite a quandary.
none of these milk sops. Pray, do not interfere. I know so little of this world, and of myself. How do you hmm. fare? The only thing Fur is good for is pulling in a scruff. I'll admit, I did worry you'd forgotten me. Follow me if you would. I know the path best traveled. We're in your hands, sir. Much obliged. Riding in an ox cart would be a welcome reprieve. Walking everywhere is certainly tiring. We shall await you here, Master. Hmm. And who might? Sir Arisen, you've come just in time. Sir Armhild. Tis my pleasure to present to you the good Arisen, come to aid us in apprehending the brigand who would threaten Her Majesty's life. Well met. Your assistance is most 
welcome. Without our Empress to guide us, Batal has no future. Her Majesty cannot be allowed to come to harm. Indeed. We are well glad of your aid. May it prove unnecessary. Ere Her Majesty's supplications begin, I shall give you a description of our target. Pray seize the rogue should you espy him. We would, however, prefer that this affair be kept quiet. Be not reckless in your decision, lest you apprehend the innocent. Empress Nadinia shall commence her prayers any moment now. I would ask that you safeguard her with your life, should it come to that. O oh, Lambent Flame, we offer thee these words of prayer on behalf of our people. We ask that all be spared the horrors of the fell dragon. We ask that Batal may e'er prosper. And we ask that a day may come when Beastrum, Human, Horn, and every other noble race that walks our world may live in harmony with one another. Sir Arisen, Her Majesty's supplications are nearing their end. Have you located the rogue? Or you, neither me. What brings you here? <laughs> no more! So that's our brigand, eh? Hold fast to your captain, Sir Arisen. No! Your Majesty, how could this have happened? We must staunch the bleeding and capture the fiend who did this. Forgive me, Your Majesty. I have failed you. The Empress is fallen. How can this be? Such a dreadful thing. I do not want to believe it. To think, even with the Arisen at her side, we could not safeguard Her Majesty. I feel the sting of this failure most keenly. The events of this day threaten to sour relations twixt beastrons, humans, and pawns. Nay, now is not the time to falter, but to unite in solidarity. We must not let the Empress's death be in vain. However, someone must answer for this, and as the plan to entrap Her Majesty's assailant was of your design, Sir Manella, I would have it be you. Oh, Empress, would that you were still with us. The Empress is... gone. What are we to do without her? What am I to do?
must change Wait for the new equipment to come in. Mean it You can improve upon this old one. Have no fear, master. I'll fare all right without you for a little while. Tis not our place to hurry the Arisen. Beg pardon, sir. But you are the Arisen, are you not? Captain Brandt bade me ask aught of you, if you would hear it. However, it is a matter best kept from prying ears. Might we not move to a more discreet location? Firstly, pray, take this. Tis a regalia sword, one of the kingdom's treasures. Tis my duty to guard it. Yet, I have stolen it from the masquerade hall where twas on display. A duplicate now rests in its place. And I must beg you to keep the true artifact hidden, lest the ruse be discovered. Generations of Amundian rulers have wielded it, though not in battle, of course. Tis a ceremonial weapon for use in parades and the like. Yet, Deesa's disdain for tradition has seen the blade suffer. Tis fractured and has lost much of its former luster. Captain Brandt is of a mind to restore it, so that it might serve as a symbol of your authority, Sir Arisen. Indeed, when the time comes for you to announce your ascension, having this sword at your hip would doubtless elevate your standing in the eyes of the people. And I must confess, having watched over the blade for many a year, I've grown rather fond of it. I should be well glad to see it restored to its former splendor by your hand. My hopes for our kingdom and its treasure go with you, Sir Arisen. I bid you good fortune. <laughs>
seems well here, but you can never be sure. Mm. Was that such peace? <laughs> 